In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to freeze dry ice cream sandwiches. So I went to Walmart, got a couple of different kinds. I got the Neapolitan and the regular for the pack of 12 sandwiches each. It was like $3 for each, each pack. So I'm gonna show you what I do to prepare it and give you a couple of tips right off the bat. The first thing is this, the trays are already pre-frozen. Even though there's nothing on them, I wanted them cold because you don't want the ice cream to melt. Second thing is I got these right out of the freezer and you wanna work with them right away before they melt. I even put them on some hot pads uh, so the trays and the ice cream stays frozen for as long as possible. They're easier to cut and then uh, get on the tray as fast as possible. You don't want it to be all melty and gooey. And then the other tip is turn on your freeze dryer an hour, an hour, you know, two hours in advance and let it start cooling down uh, because you do not want the ice cream to melt. All right, so this is the Neapolitan. I'm gonna cut this into thirds. And I'm just gonna leave them in the wrapper here. Since we're leaving them in the wrapper, it's not as critical that you use these mats, but I'm just gonna leave them on anyway. You don't have to cut them into thirds, it just makes it easier for bite-sized pieces uh, to be into thirds. It also makes it easier when you um, are storing them after it's freeze-dried. And it's a lot cheaper to make freeze-dried ice cream sandwiches than it is to buy them at the store. It could be upwards of $4 per sandwich freeze-dried at the store, even from like Walmart. Okay, so now let's put this tray on here. Okay, now I'm to the regular vanilla sandwiches. I'm gonna turn these this way so I know which ones were vanilla on that tray. If your freeze dryer is not already turned on, you can put these back in the freezer, get them frozen again until your freeze dryer is ready and down in the teens or even you know sub-zero before you put it in the freeze dryer. For this last tray, I only have three sandwiches left. I'm actually just gonna leave them as whole sandwiches and just going to slice the paper on the sides just to make it easier for the air to evaporate. Well, evaporate's not the right term, but to come out. Okay, and then if you had some other ice cream or something that you wanted to try, you can just plop it on there. So we'll do that now. Okay, you don't want to make this too thick. You want it to be about the same thickness as the sandwich or a little less. So I'm just gonna do some chunks like this. This is cookies and cream. Maybe one more spot right there. Okay, now we have our trays ready. We are going to put them directly in the freeze dryer because the freeze dryer is already on and cool. Okay, I'm going to stop this right here and just start again so you can see the settings here. So we want this to, the initial freeze to be negative 20. We can say the extra drive, the freeze time for like 12 hours and the extra dry time is 12 hours. We can just dry on the normal mode. And here we go. So that's fine right there. 
and hit save. Now we can start. All right, since it's already at 16 degrees, we can just go ahead and continue from here. Make sure we close the drain valve and then let's load the trays in. And now we just wait 24 hours. Okay, we've pulled the ice cream sandwiches out of the freeze dryer. They are finished now. Let's just kind of look through these here. The ones that were still in the wrapping maybe expanded just a little bit. Look really good. This was the ice cream scoop. Looks really good. Perfect. Here are the Neapolitan. You can see the strawberry kind of expanded out a little bit. On those, chocolate maybe just a little bit. And the vanilla ones look perfect. Then I have the sealer here set up, and then I have a couple of these bags that I've already written on. I found it's easier to write on the bags before you put it in. And there's a couple of different kind of bags that I've used. I, I've bought the ones from Harvest Right. Harvest right. Um, they're a lot thicker. I don't know how thick they are millimeter wise. They're a lot thicker. Um, but I also have bought some off of Amazon and I like these ones. Um, they're great and they're cheaper. But I do like these resealable ones um, from Harvest, right? These are like the perfect snack size. So I like doing those. So now we'll just load them up and uh, seal some of them. Okay, let's test one of these. Hmm. Really good. Exactly how you'd like it to taste. <laughs> the inside is kind of like a Lucky Charms marshmallow. And the outside is more like a cracker. But it's not too hard. It's not as hard as like pumpkin pie from Costco. So that's pretty good. I'm going to set that to the side now. All right, you can just leave these wrappers on when you uh, store them. You don't have to take them off. Okay, I'm not going to fill it up too crazy. Then let's get an oxygen absorber in there. I'm just going to put one of those in there. And let's seal it. There we go. I'm going to take one out just so it lays flat right there, just to ensure a good seal. Okay, you can also put them in a glass jar. And I'll just take a couple out so you can see what they look like. Well, you will see that they We'll separate like that. And if you're not going to store it a long time, then you can just put the lid right on this and you don't even need an oxygen absorber. But if you're going to store it for a few months, then I'd put an oxygen absorber in there. And since I'm going to be, I'm not going to seal this, so I'm just going to zip it closed. I'm going to have this for a snack on the family trip, so I'll just put these in here. 
and then reuse the bag later. Okay, perfect. We have enough for one more bag here. I'm going to start with the biggest pieces. Ooh, we better try the cookies and cream. Oh. <laughs> That's really good. Okay, we'll seal this now. Okay, that looks good. And then we will reseal the oxygen absorbers. So in this video, you've seen how I seal it with oxygen, how I use the zip, the zip ones, the resealable ones, just for uh, shorter storage, and then also how I use a glass one for even shorter storage, just like in the kitchen for kids to snack on. So I hope this video has been useful. I hope you've learned how to freeze dry uh, ice cream sandwiches, and you learned a couple of tips and tricks along the way. Thanks for thanks for your support. I really appreciate it.